Ready? <laughs> Ooh, no. Great. <laughs> Hi. So I get asked a hell of a lot of questions on TikTok about why we swear, what different types of ticks there are, the difference between Tourette's and different things, and I'm here to answer these questions. Today I'm going to be going over the different types of ticks and all the subcategories of ticks and just all about them. I get asked a lot about the difference between motor and vocal tics and the names of all the different subcategories so I'm just going to list them all and tell you a little bit about it. I hope this is helpful to some people who ask a lot of questions. Feel free to put in the comments if I've missed any or if you have any other questions and I can cover it in the next video. Side note, if you don't want to watch the whole video, I'll be putting little timestamps in the description of all the different parts of the video so you can skip to just the part you want to know about. I thought that'd be handy to say because it makes the video more accessible. So if you just want to see Copographia or you just want to see a different type of tick, go and check in the description because I'll probably link the timestamp there. So you can just click it and skip to that part. I hope that helps. <laughs> So the first thing you need to know is that there's two types of tics, <laughs> motor and vocal. Oh! Mm -hmm. A motor tic is a movement tic, clues in the name, it's motor. So a motor tic is anything physical, any movement, jerk, twitch, that's a motor tic. <laughs> and then a vocal tic is anything verbal, like noises, anything that comes out as a sound or a word or anything vocal. Ooh. Within these two categories, there's both simple and complex tics. <laughs> hmm. So you have simple motor tics, complex motor tics, simple vocal tics, and complex vocal tics. It's a bit complicated and a bit of a mouthful, but you'll get the idea. To help you understand a bit more of what these are, any simple tics are little things, things that aren't as noticeable. So for example, a simple motor tic would be <laughs> Ooh, eye blinking, facial tics, Anything small, like small movements that you don't really notice, they're simple because they're just one movement, they're not connected to any other ticks, <laughs> and they're quite simple, clues in the name. Whereas a complex motor tick could be something like jumping up and down, you could have chains of simple ticks that could form a complex tick because it becomes one repetitive tick. <laughs> like when I do that, I have an eye rolling tick a noise and I have a neck jerk and it all goes into one tick that you see. <laughs> so when I tick, I usually tick quite a few things at once, so it's actually multiple ticks but it looks like one. On the other hand, you have vocal ticks. A simple vocal tick could be a squeak, throat clearing, any small noise that doesn't involve words or phrases or anything crazy like that. <laughs> So all those noises, they're simple ticks because they're just one noise, there's no words involved, it's just pretty simple. This could also be like whistling, could be coughing, grunting, sniffing, anything like that. <laughs> and then a complex vocal tick is any categories like coprolalia, which you might have heard of, which is the swearing. And a complex vocal tick could be anything like words, complex phrases, or even sentences. So now we've got the basic two types of ticks covered with the simple and complex put in, you've got some examples of what ticks are like. Now there's a whole other section of ticks. Within these, there's also different things. There's some categories which are the axias, graphias, lalias, and skepsis. Basically, these are more complex types of ticks and they actually have a name since not everyone has these. For example, only 10% of people with Tourette's actually have coprolalia, which is swearing. So first I'm going to cover the lalias, which are coprolalia, echolalia, and palalalia. Coprolalia is swearing and obscene words or phrases. Ooh. This is the most common thing people think of when they think of Tourette's, is the swearing and like the shouting inappropriate things and insults. This is a lot of what people see on my TikTok and stuff, but it's actually one of the more rare types of tics. Not a lot of people have them compared to the amount of people that have small tics. Not all of my tics are this. In fact, most of them are just simple tics. <laughs> the ones that I have woo, woo, a lot, but I do have a lot of coprolalia tics because it's a, it's a big part of severe Tourette syndrome. Another type of lalia tick is echolalia. This one's a lot more common to have rather than coprolalia. Basically, echolalia is the repetition of other people's words or phrases. 
So this could be repeating a noise or a phrase or a word or anything someone else says as a tick. For example, if someone shouts someone's name, you could then tick pretending to shout that person's name. It's almost like imitating other people. This can cause issues sometimes because if someone says something, it can look like you're mimicking them or mocking them, which can obviously annoy people. Similar to this, there's palilalia. This is repeating your own words and phrases. So it can look a lot like stuttering and sound like stuttering because it's repeating what you're doing. So you could kind of get stuck on a word and just repeat that word over and over again until you stop ticking. Sometimes I've got into loops of just saying one word until I can't get out of it, <laughs> which can obviously be quite problematic when you're trying to explain something. I can guarantee there's been a few times in this video where I've had to crop stuff out because I've just stuttered. Crop a A simple tick 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 tits. So I'm pretty sure that's it for the Lelia ticks. I forgot to mention Lelia means vocals, so they're the vocal categories of ticks. Next is the praxias. Praxia is movement, so these are all the types of movement ticks that you can have. The first one is the more rare one, which is copperpraxia. Copperpraxia is making obscene or rude hand gestures or just movements in general. This could be like jerking your hand, which obviously looks quite rude, giving the middle finger, swearing at people using hand gestures, or just anything that's considered rude becomes a tick with copperpraxia. <laughs> Next is echopraxia. Much like echolalia, it's the repetition of another person's movements this time. So if someone bangs their hand, ooh, whoops, if someone bangs their hand on a desk, someone with echopraxia might repeat that and obviously that as a tick can be quite painful because there's no stopping it once it's going. <laughs> and then there's palipraxia, so ooh, this is repeating your own movements, so it could be like getting stuck in a loop of touching something or hitting something. <laughs> or it could be doing something over and over again. For example, I sometimes touch something or hit someone as a tick, and then it'll just repeat and repeat for like a minute. I've got stuck just tapping people on the shoulder for like a minute straight, which obviously can get quite, quite annoying. Now I'm going to go over the more rare and unheard of types of ticks. So here's the graphias. I've not heard of as many people getting these as people with coprolalia and coprapraxia, so I think this is a lot more rare. Coprographia is actually a tick where you write an obscene word or phrase. So obviously I'm in school, so I'm writing things on paper a lot. <laughs> And I've found that my handwriting changes, so you can definitely tell it's a tick, but I, I'll write the word fuck or the word shit. Like, I'll just write swear words sometimes as a tick, which can be interesting in my workbook. <laughs> and then there's echographia, which is writing down things that other people have written, or repeating something that's written on the page, or writing something that someone's saying. It's quite complicated, but I'm pretty sure that's how to sum it up. And then palygraphia, I'm pretty sure, is where you repeat your own words that you're writing. So I think you can write a word and you might write it again as a tick. It's not just like writing neatly in your own handwriting, it's normally more of a scribble because a tick isn't you doing it. Kind of hard to get your head around, but I hope that explains it. Next is the skepsis. So the skepsis are ticks that you think of instead of saying out loud or doing. Some people might not agree that these exist because obviously other people can't see them. But I know from my perspective and from a lot of people I've spoken to with Tourette's, it's definitely a thing. <laughs> Coproskepsy is kind of like coprolalia, but instead of saying the word, you think of it or see it it's like written in your head. So I might think of one of my tics. Ooh, fuck off. Mm. <laughs> so I might think of something like fuck off, but instead of saying it, I'll think it or I'll see it written in my head, kind of like an intrusive thought but more like a tick. It's kind of hard to get your head around it but I think that's the best way to explain it. It's basically just a thought that's a tick that's just intrusive and it just appears instead of saying things out loud. <laughs> Echo skepsy is where someone might say something or you hear a word or a phrase or anything and you repeat that in your head, like you think of that word over and over again. And then palaskepsy is where you might repeat your own word. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I might say the word word and then in my head 
I'll be going word, 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 because my ticks are repeating it as a thought. It's kind of hard to think about, but I think that's pretty much what it is. There's many different types of ticks, and they're all quite complicated because the brain is an amazing thing, and I don't even think doctors and scientists can get their head around it. I hope that helped clear up some stuff up. If you have any questions, I'll be doing Q&A, so if you want to put them in the comments, <laughs> I'll try to answer them. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I hope that helps people understand all the different types of ticks. Maybe you'll find out more about some ticks you actually have but didn't know the name of. I hope that's helped some people. Woo! Thanks for watching. Bye. No. I think I just caught another absence seizure. What was I saying? Okay, okay. <laughs> Why is my computer so loud? Dude, shut up. I'm trying to film a video. You fuck off. I don't take that back. For example, only 10% of people with Tourette's syndrome. Boo. Boo. For example, for example. So, first, I'm gonna cover. Boo. <laughs>